Uh, Michael Breen, University College Cork, uh, Ballina Tipperary. And how are UCC fixed this year? Um, not too bad, yeah. Um, I suppose we've a lot of guys that are involved in county panels, so it's, um, it is a challenge to get everyone to training um, because lads have been pulled left and centre. But um, no, we're, I suppose we have a good crop of talent, so we'll, um, we should be okay. When you talk about a crop of talent, who's there? I mean, who are the, who are the main men for you this year? Um, well, I suppose after this year, the likes of Mark Coleman, um, Shane Kingston, Dara Fitzgibbon. Um, I suppose you have Tom Devine, who didn't hurl this year, but you know he's still a savage hurler. Um, Connor Gleeson, you've you know top-notch guys that have played in all our semi-finals and finals, like so. Um, yeah, like the, there's no doubt we have the talent, but it's just about nurturing it and getting everyone together. How do you feel about uh, Limerick being called sort of the power base the last two or three years? The ULs and LATs, uh, you know, they're they're getting a lot of the uh, publicity, uh, the merry eyes, you know. Um, whereas Cork hasn't been mentioned as much the last few years. Yeah, well, um, I suppose the record shows for itself. Like they've won, I suppose Mary White, Mary I've won two in a row. Um, UL before that, um, and in Cork we just haven't had the same success. Um, you know, I suppose two years ago, even three years ago, we did we failed to get out of the group. Um, and I suppose last year we got to the weekend, but still no joy. But um, uh, look, it's it's kind of something that we we pride ourselves on that we come from a, a good tradition. But like tradition is nothing when you're playing in the in the now, I suppose. And um, uh, yeah, tradition goes out the window when you take to the field now. Like, how disappointed were you last year to go out to the semi-final stage? Um, absolutely gutted because like we put in so much work. Um, and to lose by such a fine margin, I suppose, after extra time to um, Carlo, um, which is a savage game, really, you know, draining game. And I suppose Carlo weren't themselves going to the final because, you know, they did, I suppose, they played 70 plus minutes, um, even 80 minutes. Like, so, yeah, it was, you know, it was gutting, but um, I suppose it's something that drives on for this year. If not you, who are the favourites this year for the Fitzgibbon? Um, I suppose you can't write out the. Um, the Limerick Colleges, um, but the likes of DCU now have, you know, they have fine talent coming through. The likes of Paddy Kern, um, even Carlo after winning their fourth league in a row. So, um, to be honest, it's it's an even playing field. Like, um, it's so hard to call, but um, it really comes down to on the day, like kind of thing. So, look, we'll, we'll give it our best shot anyway. I'll go on, pick one for me, just one from all those. Um, UCC. <laughs>